Yo, 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 what's the deal? What's the deal? It's your boy, who is Hendo? And we back talking sports. So, I want to talk about one of the stories that hasn't been talked about. And one of the play, the most disrespected number one pick of all time. If you're not a super hard NBA fan and you're just a casual, you know what I'm saying? You would think Paolo Bancaro is not doing nothing. He's not, you know what I'm saying, up there with an Ant-Man. He's not up there with a Tyrese Halliburton. He's not, you know what I'm saying, as dynamic as a Ja or, you know what I'm saying, uh, as successful as a Tatum or as dynamic as a Luka. Shay, so on and so forth, bro. All the young cats. I watched last year, bro. I watched this this boy. I watched this man take a magic team and win 17 more games while averaging 20 points per game. All his listen. All his metrics have went up. All of them. Even though they got beat last, even though I think they got whooped last night, they been on a heater. Now, Paolo Bancaro, bro, this year, is averaging 23 points per game on 46% shooting, 36% from three, seven rebounds, five assists, one steal. So 23, seven, and five on one steal. But this is my thing. Orlando was not good, bro. It wasn't. He's up every. He's up every every um metric. Every metric. Last year's uh, well this year he's averaging point three more turnovers because he's handling the ball more, but <clears throat> field goal percentage went from forty two percent to forty six percent. Three point percentage is what I'm most. Shocked by. He went from 29% to 36%. Free throws kind of went down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? He got to work on that. But he's 73 last year, 70% this year. Same amount of rebounds, same amount of uh, defensive rebounds. He upped his assists by Almost two, three point seven to five point two, and steals, and blocks. So everything went up, and not only that, let me show y'all something. Not only that. <clears throat> Last year, his team won 34 games. He was a rookie last year. The year before that, they won 22. So they went from 22 to 34 wins, right? That's a 12-win increase. 12-win increase, right? This season, they've already passed that mark, bro. They've already been up 15 games, a 15-game increase. So in two years, Paolo has changed them from a 22-win team to, who knows, could be a 50-win team. He has increased them by at least 15 games. And I, I don't think he's, I don't think, I think next year he will be the solidified number one option. I think right now it's still him and Franz Wagner, 
But I think he's clearly the better player. He's clearly the best player on the team. You know what I'm saying? And was able to carry them while Franz Wagner was out. But I think he still got another year to really separate himself from Franz Wagner. You know what I'm saying? As the number one, bro. I just think Paolo need another year to develop. And next year, I think he would be in the MVP conversation. I really do. I really think next year he's going to be in the MVP conversation. He gonna, he's gotten better every year. From the first year to the second year, I think his third year he's going to average around 27, 27, 7, and 8, like on some LeBron shit. 27, 7, and 8 on some shit. That's what I think he's going to average next year. This year he's 23, 7, and 5. You telling me he can't go 27, 8, and 5? 27, 8, and 7, I think he could do that. Also, <laughs> the Magic are fifth in the East. Did anybody see that coming? They started off super hot. They started off like top four, and then they went into their uh, little struggles. They came back down to earth and everything. But now they've been quietly winning. You know what I'm saying? They've been quietly winning, and they are fourth in defensive rating. Their problem is offensive rating, which is 23rd, nor the bottom of the league. They just need another veteran. They need a veteran, either superstar or a veteran all-star, bro. It would be perfect for them. Somebody Apollo could really learn from, you know what I'm saying, and develop an older veteran, not somebody who thinks this day team. Because it's Paolo team. But I think this is the most disrespected number one pick of all time. Paolo has been balling. Paolo is doing things that... <clears throat> Paolo is doing things that we thought other dudes should have did. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro. He's higher than Tyrese Halliburton. He's better than Tyrese Halliburton to me. That's for sure. I pick him over a lot of dudes like him. Facts. If you take him and put him on some of these teams that these other cats got, like if you take him, bro, and you put him on Indiana, come on, bro. I love what Tyrese Halliburton does. He's like he's a point, a, a true point guard, the next Magic maybe. But if you take Paolo and put him and take out Tyrese Halliburton, bro, they would be better. I promise you they would. Promise you they would. But shout out to Paolo, man. I had to make this video. One of my favorite young players, actually, yeah, him, Victor Wembanyama. Shay, all of my young cats, yeah, him, Victor Emiyama, Shay, Ant Man, some of the few guys that I really that I really rock with. You know what I'm saying? Of course, K. Nobody can get over K. And y'all with that K cutting him slander, bro. It's the fucking organization, not K. I'm out, man. Peace.